everyone, so before we begin with our video, we would like to make a small request. Kindly subscribe to our channel and like the video if it helps you. And also share it with your friends who may benefit from the same. So we'll be simulating a wind turbine with a DC machine. To begin with, we'll need a power GUI block that acts as a compiler for the simulation. And uh, we'll need a wind turbine whose inputs can be given using a constant block. We'll need a constant block. So we'll get the first input as 1.2 per unit. And we'll get the pitch angle as zero to avoid any confusion. And we'll give the speed as 50 um, radians meters per second. We'll also not need such a high output power. So we'll keep it at 250 and we'll keep it at 250 by 9 per unit. And now we'll need a DC machine. So the output of the wind turbine goes to the DC machine. And we'll give it the first preset, which has a 300 volt field and 1700 RPM. And now we'll need a DC voltage source. Make sure you take this DC voltage source as well only and not the blue color one, because the blue color one would not be compatible with the current with this simulation. Connect the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative terminal. And now add a series RLC branch and make it into only resistance and we'll keep the resistance as 50 ohms. Yeah, and now we'll observe the output in a scope. So for this, we'll need a bus selector as well because the output of the DC machine, you can measure field current, armature current and speed, but we would only need the speed, but let's delete the preset signals and measure only speed. And now we'll need a scope. So you can observe the output in terms of um, radians per second by default, but if you want it in terms of RPM, you'll have to divide it by the factor. So for this video, we'll be using only radians per second. Disconnect, disconnection, yeah. And now let's click on the scope and format the scope. Um, we'll make sure that the legend is there. So when we simulate the circuit, it works. And now let's um, simulate the circuit. In the simulation, make sure you set the power GUI block as discrete and set the time to 15 seconds. And now let's run the simulation. It will take some time to compile and run. So as you can see, the speed is observed. Um, 15 seconds won't be sufficient, so we'll make it 20 so to see the scope settle. Yeah. So now let's try and increase the speed. So by increasing the speed, we must see a greater speed in the DC motor. So as you can see, the speed is greater. So this is how you simulate a wind turbine and a DC motor on Simulink. Thank you for watching our video. Kindly subscribe to our channel to help you and do check our other videos as well.